Oxford and Cambridge are the best medical schools, think again. We're going to talk about what really matters. Hi Future Medics, I'm Manpreet, I'm a presenter here at the Aspiring Medics and a medical student at the University of Birmingham. Today we're going to be busting a myth surrounding what really matters when you're applying to medical schools and picking your dream medical school. We're going to be talking about why league tables can be misleading, how to find your perfect fit and what things actually matter when you're choosing your medical school. So why are league tables misleading? Many students, when they look at university rankings for medical schools, they assume that the top ranked universities are the best universities for medicine. However, that's not true. Ranking is only part of the picture. A ranking is based off of research output and only a very small part of these rankings are based off of student experience and postgraduate prospects. Let's get it clear. Prestige does not equate to the amount of support and teaching you'll get at medical schools, which is the most important thing. So that being said, what are the key things you should look out for when you're looking for your dream university. So the main things you need to consider are teaching styles at these medical schools, clinical placements, locations of these universities, whether there's an option to intercalate, and finally the student support that you have at these medical schools. So in terms of teaching style, there are two main types of teaching styles that medical schools incorporate. The first one is problem-based learning, where both theory and clinical practice are integrated in case-based style discussions from very early on. However, a traditional teaching style involves learning all the theory in the first two years, followed by learning all the clinical aspects of medicine in the final three years. It's important to bear in mind that a lot of medical schools integrate both elements now, um, but historically universities like Manchester are known to have more of a PBL style of teaching, whereas Oxbridge is known for its traditional style of teaching. The second important thing you need to bear in mind are clinical placements and whether you want to experience clinical exposure very early on. Universities like the University of Birmingham, King's College, are known to have introduction to community-based learning, community-based practice from the first term, which is something that's not seen in a lot of other universities. So ask yourself, do you think that'd be important to you or would you find that relevant? The third main aspect to look at is the location of these universities, whether they are campus-based or whether they are city-based, since all of these factors determine cost of living, transport links, social life, and your overall university experience, which is very important if you're going to be there for five or six years. The fourth point you need to consider when you're looking at your universities is whether there's an option to intercalate. So intercalation essentially involves adding another year to your degree where you can get involved in research or do another degree at your university or at a different universities. For universities like Oxbridge, Imperial, Edinburgh, it's mandatory for you to intercalate, so your degree will be six years long, whereas for other universities, it's optional. You can choose to do a year out out of your uh, clinical years to do something in research or to do uh, another degree elsewhere. The final point, the amount of support you'll experience at these universities. So universities like Keele and Plymouth University are known, are historically known to have consistently high um, rankings in terms of student support. And this is particularly important when it comes to exam season where you're under a lot of pressure. So all these different points, make sure you do plenty of research when you are researching universities. So how you, are you going to do that? How are you going to find your fit? What are you actually going to do? So if you're able to, I highly recommend that you visit open days for these universities, have a look at virtual tours. And these days, it's a lot of online content from creators at these universities talking about their unique experiences. So have a look at those, watch those, um, and really understand what it's like to be a medical student in all the different years at that university. The most important thing I'd say well, for me has been looking at location. I go to the University of Birmingham uh, Medical School and I found that the location of the university was the, the most important thing for me. So the medical school is located right next to the rest of the schools, which means that I'm able to have friends outside of medicine, which you'll soon realize into medical school that you're so constantly surrounded by medics. So it's nice to have people outside of, of medicine. Additionally, we're the only university where our train station is located at the heart of the campus, meaning that it's a five minute trip to the city center, which I always find very convenient. Really ask yourself, where will you thrive, not just where you'll survive? On the whole, employers are going to care more about your skills and your grades as opposed to your university's ranking. At the end of the day, medicine is a fantastic degree regardless of what university is at. So choose a university based off of what course suits you and where you'll thrive. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you've enjoyed it and I hope you've learned something. Please like and subscribe to see more content like this in the future.